everybody, welcome back to my channel. Chloe here. Today we are going to be checking out a dev request. This is called Milton Summons the Devil. It is a bitsy game, I believe. So that is kind of like a very pixelated kind of art style. It's very minimalistic. It kind of, man, I, I'm going to throw up like some comparison games that are kind of popular that sort of share that art style, but weren't necessarily made in that specific engine. But the dev approached me and approached me, i.e. submitted my form online to cover the game. And yeah, so this is a game about Milton. You play as a nine-year-old boy and you want to get revenge on your gym teacher. And to, to do that, you are going to summon the devil. Um, you know, which I can relate to because my elementary school gym teacher was a uh, monster. So that's great. You are nine years old. Today, your gym teacher made you go on the rope. Yeah. Oh my god, I can't even tell stories about my gym teacher. My gym teacher, okay. Okay, you know, I, I will tell stories, in fact, about my gym teacher. Because I have no idea how long this game is. Um, I, in elementary school, I, in the first grade, I, I moved to, like, this new school. Um, so I was separated from, like, all the friends that I had in kindergarten. And, and my elementary school, just, just saying, like, it is the most miserable place I ever was. And it was the most miserable I have ever been in school, ever. Like, if there was ever a place where I would never want to go back, it is my elementary school. Um, horrible. Horrible place. <laughs> Not even kidding here. Really bad memories there. When I was in the first grade, I didn't really know how to tie my shoes yet. I used mostly, like, Velcro shoes, and I just kind of avoided learning how to tie my shoes. Um, just... I don't know, for whatever reason, I just didn't know how to tie my shoes. But my gym teacher at the time was this awful person who literally would yell at me to tie my shoes, would not teach me how to tie my shoes, would not show me how to tie my shoes, would yell at me to tie my shoes, would send me to like the par room, which was like kind of like the detention room, but they don't call it detention because of course that is a negative connotation with it. And I guess they think that's better, even though it's literally the same thing. You just gave it a different name. We're not that stupid. He would, I'm sorry, he would yell at my friends if they tried to help me tie my shoes. He would tell them that he would send them to detention if they helped me. So I was like first grade, I was like five. Um, there were other things that definitely happened um, with this gym teacher like later on down the line with like other people, but he was not a good person. Um, so again, yeah. Uh, my elementary school honestly was not filled with a lot of good people, but you didn't want to go on the rope. So now, it summons the devil. <laughs> Look at how little we are. Yeah, let's play. Oh no, oh no. Hello? Oh no. Oh my god, I'm done. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm really dumb. There was- it was right there. It was very obvious. I was like, up. <laughs> there's- there's hallways, Chloe. Bump into objects and interact with them. Find all the items, solve all the riddles, and summon the devil. Okay. I really like that. One of the candles for your unholy ritual. It's actually one of your mom's Yankee candles. This one smells like those gross peppermints and the crinkly wrappers. You are lacking the necessary ritual items. Okay. So I just stole my mom's candles like a boss. Can't go to bed. You stay up all night waiting for your parents to sleep. It's time to summon the devil. You rummage through your old toy chest. They're buried underneath a Rubik's Cube and some action figures. You find Mr. Hugs. He was your fuzzy best friend growing up, but you're still not sure if he was supposed to be a bear or a cat or a wolf or a dog. You give him a hug. You got ritual item, Mr. Hugs. I don't want to sacrifice Mr. Hugs. It's a book you checked out at the library about the devil. You have to open it to the ritual page. Light the five candles, gather your tools, follow each ritual, follow the rules. When you perform each candle's task, the devil will come to do what you ask. There's more, but your mom ripped out five of the pages when she caught you reading it. Damn, mom. Hi, Milton. It's me, Beasel, your imaginary friend. I'm so glad we're finally summoning the devil. In order to summon the devil, you'll need all the ritual items scattered throughout the house. There should be 12 items still left to find. Okay, damn. Just in my house, huh? You dig through your closet, and right where you left them are a pair of Coach Steven's underwear. They smell pretty weird, and you try not to think about how you got them. You got ritual item underwear. You look through all your books. There's a bunch of mystery novels and pamphlets from church and a hardcover. Oh, the places you'll go. But nothing useful. Dang it. Okay. Oh my god. I love this. 
Is that my dog? Grr. Oh no, birthday has spotted you. If you get any closer, he's gonna bark and wake up your mom and dad unless you have something he wants. Okay, uh, okay, birthday. Wait, is this a washing machine? What the hell is it happening? You rummage through the washing machine. Everything is still wet. But you find a wet piece of paper. You pull the pe put the piece of the dryer and wait a little bit. Why do dryers take so long? Fizz, you grab your dry piece of paper and hey, you got one of your missing pages. The page of rot. You rummage for the hampers. There's your brother's sweatpants, your dad's shirts, your mom's bra. Hey, you found some slippers. These should help you sneak around the house quietly. There's no system to where anything is in this cabinet. There's like a bunch of random stuff. Well, there's a pair of scissors. You find ritual item scissors. Okay. There's literally nothing you can use in here unless you have an insatiable urge to take a bleach bath or read a magazine from last year. You run the tap for little and wash your hands. Unless you have something to fill, that's all you get to do. Hygiene is pretty important though. There's literally nothing you can use in here. Okay. Bleach bath. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Okay, no, there's nothing. That's a very cool way of like illustrating a washing machine in a dryer. I appreciate that. Mommy and daddy, you can sneak around this room without waking anybody thanks to your slippers. Hooray. Your dad's dress, you open this drawer and there's nothing but shirts. Nothing but pants. Nothing but socks and underwear. The hell is this? You dig through your dad's nightstand as quiet as you can. There's a Bible, a money clip with like $40 on it, and uh huh. There's a key. It's super small. Wonder what it's for. You rummage around your mom's nightstand. There's a lot of makeup and cold medicine. Bzz. Oh no, you bumped into something weird and now it's rumbling. Shut it off, shut it off. You find it and turn the dial at the base. Silencing the tube shaped thing. I hope that she washed it. Or her child touched it. <laughs> I just noticed the dad is a smaller dresser than the mom does. <laughs> That's so on brand. <laughs> you guys, like, how much how much closet space does your dad have compared to your mom? Like, is it really comically small? I'm pretty sure that, like, my dad has just, like, this one, like, neat little section. And then my mom, like, has, like, two closets worth of things. No shade. Love you, mom. <laughs> It's your mom's dresser. This one is all makeup and jewelry, nothing useful. You dig around your mom's dresser. This drawer is all blouses and shirts and, hey, it's one of the pages your mom took. The page of loss. It's your mom's dresser. You open this drawer and it's pants and leggings and stuff. It's your mom's dresser. You open this drawer and it's a bunch of socks and underwear. Well, good for mom and dad. They clearly have a very, I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wall? Is there something you would like to say? What the hell is this? Hey, a water bottle. Fill it with water, maybe? Okay. It's your dad's Bible. It's super old. You can't bless an empty bottle. Get some water. Okay. Um. Okay. And fill up your water bottle. Okay, very cool. This is very streamlined. I really like that. I really like that about the game. It's super old. You read some passages out of the bottle and wave your hand over the bottle. It starts to glow. You made holy water. Cool. Use a small key to open this file cabinet. There's a lot of your dad's magazines. They've got girls in their underwear on them. Oh god, there's lotion in there too. It smells like coconut. Maybe you don't need to summon the devil. Maybe you're already in hell. You got ritual item <laughs> lotion? Yay. <laughs> Oh, that's great. It's all your mom's da law dad's law books and your mom's big heavy books about architecture. There's a shelf for your comics at the bottom, but that's about it for cool stuff. Wow, my parents suck. They only let me have like a little bit of comics. It's your mom's work table. The building she's designing right now looks like a big sofa. Your mom always listens to music while she works. You find a ritual item headphones. You dig through the trash can. It's super gross and smells like coffee, but you found another page. The page of harm. Your dad's sewing machine. He says it helps him relax after a hard day's work. He never wears any of the clothes he makes, though. Oh, hey, you found ritual item sewing needle. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, my dad is the only one that really knows how to sew, but that's because my grandpa was, like, an upholsterer slash, like, carpenter. Not a carpenter. He was strictly an upholsterer. So, like, my grandpa knows how to do a lot of cool stuff with fabric, and my dad had to learn, too. Ah, crap, it's locked. Why does it always smell like trees around Derek's room? 
Okay, okay, yes, I understand. I can't go into Derek's room. What is this? You look out the window at the dark, dark night. I'm sorry, what? You find a key on the ground. Who would leave a key by the windowsill? The moon's in the correct place tonight. The Dark Lord can be summoned. And Coach Stevens will pay. So cute. Oh my god, I love it. You can't fill up your water bottle anymore. It's full. Okay, well, fine. You don't have to go right now. Well, go. Your dad always insists on getting the super thin bulk toilet paper from the superstore. Maybe you will summon the devil to punish the makers of superstore toilet paper. You hold your breath and dig around in, in the bathroom trash. It's so gross. At the bottom, of the, under a wet paper towel, you find another missing page. The page of intent. The medicine cabinet is full of Derek's pills and your mom's creams and your dad's horrible aftershades. You found ritual item bandage. What is this section? Hey, it's birthday's bone. He loves this thing. It's covered in slobber and teeth marks. You don't really have time to take a shower. You do smell kind of bad, though. Maybe because of the things that I've been playing around in tonight. What the hell is happening with the walls? Is my brother also summoning the devil? Are we going to make it a family activity? Even though he sees your birthday, he doesn't bark because he knows you have the bone. You pet birthday. He wags his tail and licks your hand. You go to scratch under his chin. He throws up a piece of paper into your hand. You got the page of shame. That's great. I love having the page of shame makes the table hasn't been cleared from dinner there's dirty dishes all over it oh and a spoon you got ritual item spoon why do i need a spoon babe why is there a spoon this kitchen drawer kind of sticks as you pull it open wait a second oh cool there's a huge knife in here you got ritual item chef's knife i'm nine. Oh, cool a whole pot of a lot of pots pans and that ridiculous corn shucking gadget your dad bought but he never uses nothing useful Okay, you can't fill up your water bottle anymore. It's full. Brio pads, but nothing useful. No, okay, nothing useful. There's still some cold mac and cheese left at the bottom of the pot. Nobody's looking. Oh man, it's so gross and cold and delicious. Your hands are covered in cheese sauce, so you lick them clean. Your mom will call you a little monster. What? Cut up little hot dogs and stir them into the mac. She also put a little hot sauce in your bowl because she, she knows you'd like it. Nothing here you can use, though. Aw. My parents never gave me hot sauce. I probably would have cried as a child. Um, but my brothers used to make, like, that kind of... Whenever my parents went out um, for dinner, my brothers used to make um, mac and cheese, and then they would cut up the hot dogs in it. And then they'd also... We'd have, like, canned peaches and corn. We'd always have those things. We'd have canned peaches and corn and mac and cheese with hot dogs. And that's what my brothers used to make me for dinner. The fridge light flickers as the bowl fights against going out. You smell something horrible in the crisper drawer. You found ritual items, spoiled food. The family blender. Your dad uses it to make smoothies in the morning, and your brother uses them to make milkshakes. Good times. Nothing useful, though. You peer inside the trash can. It's gross. It smells like bad beef. It's probably the beef that went bad in there. If anything was useful in there, it's not worth getting. Dang. Really? You're gonna go outside? It's midnight and you're nine. Where are you gonna go? Wh where am I gonna go? I can summon the devil. Like, where wouldn't I go is the question. What do you mean I'm lacking the necessary ritual items? Ma'am. Sir? What do you mean I'm lacking the necessary ritual items? How am I, how am I lacking anything? Dang it. Okay, well, let's put the... Light the five candles, gather your tools. Okay. What? Wait, wait. Well, then, how do I get... Is there an inventory? What do you want me to do? Can you give me... Can you give me some... Some help? Three items still left to find, homie. Can you give me a hint? My guy, can you give me a hint? Oh, well, I did get that weird key. What is Derek doing in his bed? You go through your brother's dresser drawer. There's a big bag of grass, and hey, you found a ritual item lighter. You go through, okay. Nothing useful. Okay. What is my brother doing? I'm afraid. You dig through Derek's closet, and you find a cool bathrobe. Well, for your purposes, it'll work. You found unholy robes. There's nothing in here but Derek's shirts and church clothes. These speakers rattle the entire house when your brother plays music. It's pretty rad. 
Brother's old school and he listens to his music on CD. You press eject on the boombox. You got a ritual item heavy metal CD. Awesome. The devil loves heavy metal. <laughs> what the hell? How do you know? Okay, what are we supposed to do? I think that your brother tosses and turns in his bed. He looks like you can wake up any second. Maybe don't do that again. Oh, okay. Did I get everything I needed? Did I have do I have everything that I need to summon the devil now? You have all that you need for the ritual. But what do I need to do? You approach the now giant candle of intent. A hideous raspy voice belches from the flame. You bring me nothing. Prepare me a worthy offering or face the wrath of hell. The devil spoke to you. Why did he have an English accent? I don't know. I would have appreciated... Wait. Of intent? Dang it. I don't know what I just did. Box of the Void, all the, your items are taken from you. You're unburdened and can begin the ritual anew. What do you want? You bring me a nothing. Prepare me a worthy offering. Okay. What do you want me to do? You read the page. Before you burn the flame of intent, tell the foul one who, who to torment. Offer a piece of your target body or soul, and with a sharp blade you may find your goal. Okay, that's his underwear. Chef's knife. Oh, the ritual calls for no more than two. Okay, hi, Satan. Would you like this? You approach the now giant candle of intent. You, re you ready? Uh, offer your... Okay, we gave it to the devil, okay? You hold Coach Stephen underwear aloft. It still smells gross. You're not thrilled to be holding it. In your other hand, you raise the sharp chef's knife. In dazzling, shimmering arcs, you shred the underwear into fraying strips. The candle flares in approval. You've completed the ritual of intent. What, what the hell happened? You read the, okay, before you, wait, what? You've already completed the ritual of intent. The day should, the devil waits patiently. You've completed the ritual. What, sir? Ah, oh, you've all that you need for this ritual. You read the page your mom ripped out. Before you burn the flames of harm, for pain and hell is no cause for alarm. With a swift, sharp sting, offer him your hurts. Then heal your own wound. This is the dark, the dark one asserts. And then heal my wound, right? Because you don't want to, like, cut yourself in half. Okay. You poke yourself in the finger with it. Ouch. You flick blood from your finger onto the candle. It sizzles but doesn't go out. So you apply the bandage to your finger. The candle flares in approval. You have completed the ritual of harm. Okay. You've completed the ritual. Okay. The ritual of intent. The ritual of harm. Okay. So this is all I need for this ritual. So you read the page your mom worked out. Before you burn the flames of rot, for vengeance is a meal best left for God. Scoop up the rotten, for that is the price. Revenge itself satisfies, but seldom tastes nice. What the hell? Is this the rotten food? Wait, what? Vengeance is a meal best left for God. Scoop up the rotten... What the hell? Scoop up the rotten food. What do I need? Okay. Rotten. What is this? Is this the... Is this the... You have failed me, Milton. Bring the proper offering or suffer the consequences. You have two left before I come and get you and bring you to hell. Oh no, what do you want? Okay, what do you want? What do you want, sir? You read the pit. Okay, for you burn the flame of rot. For vengeance is a meal best left for God. Scoop up the rotten, for that is the price. Revenge satisfies, but seldom tastes nice. So wouldn't I just need to bring... What is this? Approach the spoon? Oh, it's just... Oh, that, that makes sense now. I was like, I'm so confused. 
Oh no. Oh, you eat it. Then the flavor hits you in ugly, bubbling waves. You try not to barf. The candle flares in approval. You've completed the ritual of rot. Okay, thank you, Satan. Thank you. Hooray, thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate you. Okay, we've got two left. One of your one of the candles for your unholy ritual. Okay, blah 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 blah. Okay, you've all you need for this ritual. What is this one one? You read the page your mom ripped up. Before you burn the flame of shame, no one may blush while playing this game. Take a sin of a loved one's secret humiliation and offer it up in conflagration. What does conflagration mean? Like actual genuine question? A sin of a loved one. So we know that we've got dad's dad's little underwear books. Um conflagration. I wonder what that means. I'm sorry. Extensive fire. So we, we need the match. Is this the lighter? Okay, we the lighter and the porn, right? There we go. Okay, so I mean the lighter and the adult stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you hold up your dad's... It's glossy and wrong. The woman on the cover stare into oblivion and motionless. This is none of their concern. You take lotion and it is gross. You try not to think about it. You squirt it under the cover of the magazine. You try to forget about what it looks like. You flip over your brother's lighter and spark it. The flame dances in unison with the candle. Eager to rid yourself of it, you ignite it. There must have been some alcohol in the lotion because it goes up like the axe body spray you stole from your brother to burn army men. The candle flares in approval. You've completed the ritual of shame. Hooray, and I'm full of shame now. Okay, one of the candles. Let's go ahead, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Okay, what do you want me to do? You read the page your mom ripped out. Before you burn the flame of loss, for grief is a river all souls must cross. Bring forth a friend, closest one you know, and cut loose their heads, snip, let them go. No, he didn't ask for this. Oh, homie, he didn't ask for this. Mr. Hugs didn't ask for this. This is disrespectful. I will never forgive you, Milton. This is disrespectful. I could never. Candle of loss. You ready your offering to the candle. You give one last hug to, hug to Mr. Hugs. He was your first friend. You loved him very dearly, but vengeance must be yours. His plastic googly eyes seem to look up at you in confusion. Your heart breaks a little. You open wide the silver sisters and have a little soft of Mr. and Hugs' neck into the crook of them. You hear the single high clear snip of the scissors and the muffled cotton flop of Mr. Hugs' severed head falling to the floor. The saddest, shortest song you've ever heard. The candle floors in approval. You've completed the ritual of loss. I'm sorry, Mr. Hugs. Ritual is complete. The devil is pleased. You're going to hell to talk to him. What, uh, you're my friend. Hi there, Milton. Yeah, I know. I'm not really your imaginary friend. I'm a demon. I'm still your friend, though. Anyway, welcome to hell. The big guy is waiting for you. Ah, I love all the flame. Ah, I like what you've done with the place. How there's stars everywhere except in this one corner. Makes sense. Hi, Milton. Great work summoning me. Nobody takes the time to do it right anymore. I think it's time you got what you wanted. I'm gonna kill Coach Stevens. Yay! <laughs> what is happening? Is the... Oh, the hand is going through? Bye, Coach Stevens. Thanks for playing. I hope you found a way to summon the devil of your own life and kill your own metaphorical Coach Stevenses. We don't encourage murder here on this channel. Coach Stevens? Coach Sevi? What's the plural there? Anyway, thanks. Gus Fuss. This was really fun. Okay, this was... I really love bitsy games because they're kind of like RPG Maker games, but they're, like, subtle, and even though they're they're, they're... they're not, like, necessarily as graphically intense, but they still have this way to kind of make you feel unsettled. It's a really great way, I think, if you're getting into game development and like game design to really kind of play around and play around the system it's it's like strip away all the bells and whistles of like a regular rpg maker and um you can play something like this and it's also just got a really cool retro look so a lot of these games that do the bitsy especially like this one um the horror themes work really really well with this so i really enjoyed this thank you to the developer for bringing this game to my intention this was such a fun game um 
and I hope that you guys found it fun too. So if you like this video, please leave a like. It really does help the channel out. Also consider subscribing. And when you subscribe, be sure to hit the notifications bell so you get updates on when I upload future episodes. Without further ado, thank you all so, so, so much for watching. Bye! I would like to give a very special shout out and thanks to my patrons, AceWolf741, Deep Dive Dylan, D. Roberts, Brian White, Devil J, Caleb Putnam, Robin Harper, Bob Conway, Cody Webb, and Maticus Sama.